Well, hello again, everyone. Uh, this video, we're going to just briefly go through common tone diminished seventh chords, common tone augmented sixth chords, and chromatic medians. We hinted at common tone diminished seventh chords in class on Monday. Let's take a look at the very first measure here. Just let me play this. It's very short. Now we could go through and we could look at, okay, give this a Roman numeral analysis. Okay, so it's a diminished chord, C sharp diminished, C sharp is a 7 of 2, so 7, 4, 3 of 2, but that wouldn't make any sense because it doesn't work like a 7, 4, 3 of 2. It's basically a chromatic elaboration on the 5 chord here, a little sideways motion in each voice here. That's why we call it a common tone diminished seventh chord. The G stays in common. Now, if we look at measure two, which is the same chord but with the seventh added, you really hear it because all of the upper three voices are moving down by half step. And that really drives home the idea that this is somehow an embellishing chord rather than a functional chord. So here's bar two. You can really hear it in there. Yeah, with the soul, 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 re, di, re, fa, mi, fa, ti, te, ti. And you hear it again. Listen to it again. I apologize for my voice. And that's all common tone diminished seven is. It's a diminished seven chord that has a common tone with uh, both chords on either side of it. Usually it's the same chord. It doesn't have to be in root position as we see in number measure number three here. In this case, it's a five, six, five uh, with a common tone in measure seven. The G stays as the common tone. Let's listen to that. Yeah. This is a wonderful chord. It's, it's, it, it is wonderful because it allows for these nice elaborations. You hear it a lot in barbershop harmony. And we're going to talk about barbershop harmony here and there as we go along. Uh, let's listen to the, the fourth bar here, which has the common tone in minus 7 as kind of a passing construction. It still has the common tone, G, that's what we call the common tone in minus 7. But we go from a 4 3 to a, a 5 4 3 to a 5 4 2. Let's see what that sounds like. Now we're starting to get really barbershoppy. Look at the voice leading. Uh, in all these cases, the F, the seventh chord, the seventh of the five chord dipped down a half step. Everything dipped down a half step except for the common tone, which stayed put. Uh, the exception is when it was as a passing, and the bass had to move up to create the change in position. And to make that a little smoother, we had the tenor or the alto drop down to get the C sharp here, a diminished fourth leap. That's acceptable. We've seen that before in minor key situations, so it would certainly work here. Tenor gets to do its normal half-step downward backup motion, and the soprano, having the common tone, stays put. Related to the common tone of minus 7 is the common tone augmented 6th. And if you look at it, it's the same principle. And the top two voices here are going down by half-step while the bass stays put. But instead of the other voice here going down a half-step that would create a parallel motion. Notice also the doubling I've got here where the fifth is doubled instead of the root. It goes up a half-step, and there we have that augmented sixth interval of A flat to F sharp. And then it resolves as an augmented sixth would, but the augmented sixth, sixth expanding outward to an octave, and then the inner voice resolving up by half-step. Let's listen to that. This is the common tone augmented sixth on a one chord in the key of C. crunchy, but it's the same basic principle, half-step motion elaborating. Let's do the same thing with the Simon on a 5 chord, and I simply just transposed it. That's all the common tone augmented 6th is. It's the same principle as the common tone in the minus 7th. You're elaborating a chord. Now let's take a look at another concept. We play these uh, bars 7 and 8 here. That's pretty straight ahead, 1 to 6. In a major key, 6 is minor. That's how it worked. But listen to bars eight, uh, 9 and 10.
flat six is, would be an example of mode mixture because we went and pulled the flat six from the parallel minor. We also refer to this process as a chromatic mediant. Even though six is the submediant, it's part of the same category here. So anytime we mess around with the mediant or submediant in such a way that we're either borrowing from the parallel major or minor or we're changing the quality of it in some way, we call that a chromatic mediant. We can do the same thing with the actual mediant, three, and that sounds something like this. Now it's a standard voice leading. Listen to what happens when I make it chromatic. Interesting stuff. Same thing happens in minor, although obviously we have a difference in quality. In minor, the mediant and the submediant are naturally major chords. So what we have to do is we have to raise their roots by a half step and create minor chords. So we're borrowing the minor six and minor three from the parallel major. Let's see what that sounds like. Here's one to six as it naturally occurs in minor. And here it is as it occurs with the chromatic submediant. So it's sort of the same thing for the mediant. One to three. And now the chromatic mediant. One to a raised minor three. Reestablishing C major there. We'll, we'll be getting back to C major here in a moment. So what we see before us now, this is a complete list of possible chromatic medians. Given a key, here's our one chord as reference point. Uh, you can have the flat major three. You can take the flat three and make it minor, or you can take the regular three and make it major. And you can do the same thing with the sixes. Flat six as it appears in the parallel minor. Flat six minor or take the regular six and make it major. And that sounds a little something like this. I'm going to pick up the tempo on this a little bit just so it's not quite so sluggish. Let's say 96. Now let's see what this sounds like. Here's a flat three, flat three minor, regular three but major, flat six, flat 6 minor, regular 6 flat major. Alright, and then we do the same thing in minor keys. We can make our regular 3 minor, or we can raise the 3 to the parallel major 3 and make that both major and minor. We can do the same thing with the subdominant. That sounds a little something like this. There's our tonic in minor. Lower a minor 3, raised major 3, raised minor three, here's our subdominant, major, and minor raised. So that's a basic introduction to common tone diminished seventh chords, common tone augmented sixth chords, and chromatic medians. We'll be exploring these in greater detail. And notice also the voice leading, if we go back over here, the voice leading is just as if you were dealing with the diatonic, smoothest possible motion. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in class or drop me an email, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.